uh, well, I'm not really sure. Um, this film is, can be unbelievable, but it's based on true events. And and when they came, the 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 son of of the the people I was living with, and they were coming with they would come with uh, their little son. He was like three years old guy, and and they were telling, uh, okay, tell your grandma what you saw today. And the and the little child was only saying, I don't like the crocodile. And I was like, I, I was asking, and then they stopped in the middle of the road, and they and they were uh, in a restaurant, and there were a guy dressed as a crocodile taking care of the kids. And, and he couldn't, uh, he, he was very afraid of that. And he was saying all the time, I don't like the crocodile, I don't like the crocodile. And everyone was laughing, you know, like, oh, look at this cute boy, he didn't like the crocodile. And then I started, at that point I thought, what if this fact is not so, so, so funny? I mean, it, what would happen if the parents really wanted to be alone, and this stupid, spoiled child, is not is not leaving them alone. So then I ran up to my room. I started writing this story. It was ten years ago. It was even before I was uh, I, I was not really working in the in the film or television or anything. I was an engineer. Nothing to do with that. And I wrote that. It was not a script. It was just a literature literature uh, story. So yeah, and that's the beginning of this uh, sick story. I don't know. I'm from Spain, from Madrid. And who is your favorite uh, film director from Spain? Um, well, that's a tough question. I would say Fernando León de la Noa, which made a movie called Mondays in the Sun. I don't know whether you have watched that. It's a beautiful movie. I would say him. I'm not really sure. Alejandra Menava is very good as well. Pedro Almodóvar, I, I don't know. I like it, but not that much. It, he's good. He has a great style, but it's not my favorite. And the budget was, I think, 30,000 euros. And we shot in 35 millimeters. And we got like uh, help from the Spanish government as well, and some private investors, and some money from my pocket as well. I'm still recovering from that. Yeah. And uh, how long uh, the preparation uh, took? Yeah, well, we. I was preparing another short film and two weeks before I was uh, supposed to shoot the, the short film uh, they called me from the Ministry of Culture in Spain and they told me that they would give me money for Crocodile Night. So I had to stop the other production and, and, get, and start doing and we took like two months, two months and a half, then we shot the movie and then it took like three months to edit and sound and music and everything. I had to do a casting and we saw like 20 boys, and it was uh, it was a weird casting because uh, it, some at one point it was a child, two year old child in the casting, and I was like, what the hell, what is that? He couldn't even talk, you know. But the, the parents they, they just want to make them to be a star, and and yeah, and I saw like two of them that I liked. One of them I liked very much, but um, he was his mother was making him cry to make him casting. Telling him that he, he wouldn't go to Disneyland anymore if he, he wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I thought that was so cruel. And I, and I couldn't rely in a boy who is dependent on his mother to make him suffer, you know. <laughs> so, so then I took him, the, the, other, the other guy and he did very well. Of course he's a child, sometimes he gets tired and it's, it's not easy to shoot with, with child, you know, with children. But yeah, he did very well and I, I was very, very, very glad. Well, thank you very much, Javier, for being here. All the best. Uh, it is uh, uh, your his film, uh, Crocodile Night, is in competition, but uh, it competes also for the best audience, the audience award, so you can vote uh, as you.